Alright, how's it going everybody and welcome back to another Anna positioning guide video. This one featuring Blizzard World. And this was actually requested um, from one of the viewers from our last Anna positioning guide video. And I can't always roll these out uh, simultaneously. Uh, because I am a streamer, I stream on twitch.tv slash l 9 if you would like to stop by and say hello. I do stream quite often, so my timeline is sometimes restricted, so I can't always be making uh, videos, but I always try my best to get these out, because we are doing this for all the maps, 100%. Um, so, let us begin, shall we? This is Brizzard World, and let's just first speak about defense. This time I have increased move speed just to make things a little bit faster um, in the in the movement and explaining uh, where to position. So, on point A defense, on point A defense, your team has a few options, right? Your first option, right not holding here. The other option where people might hold on your team would be up here on the high ground left side. Now this is a common, common place for uh, Orisa. Um, Orisa's like to hold here. Or Reinhardt will usually hold here. Because if you're Reinhardt and you're holding here, you have to be like melee range. And it's better usually for Reinhardt to be low ground than high ground. Uh, because Orisa can just pull and shoot and she has more range. Um, that's why high ground shield here is very good for Orisa. So, what do you do, right? What do you do in a situation where your team is holding here? Your option is to hold here, break this, and you're going to be healing from inside, right? At the same time, your team should tell you where they're going. If they're going right side, if they're going left side into here. Your team will generally look this way, and then you can see their indication of where they're looking that they're going to be here. And they have to go around through here to actually get to you. And if they do get to you, that's why you broke this thing. You drop down and you retreat. There's a health pack right here. You take the health pack or you retreat through here, which is usually dangerous. If you retreat through here, you can get picked very easily from this side on main. Um, you should really let your team pull back and you pull back behind them. So ideally, if you get dived while you're here, it is, it is occasionally better to just let your team help you and just run over to your team and, and nade or whatever you have to do or simply hold here against the tracer and tell them that you need help and then they can help you here. So it's going to be very situational like how it's played out. But let's just let's just stick to the point here. Position. Orisa holds here or whoever holds here, you, you hold here. You heal like this. If you have to pull back, if they push, if they push eventually, you're gonna drop down these stairs and you're gonna heal from like this because here's the thing right if they push from here to right side or, or their left side this is your right side so keep this in mind if you're playing on defense this is considered right side if you're playing on attack this is considered left side it's very important not to mix between the two if you're on defense because when you make calls you you have to say it right side the right side will be here so if they're playing right side and they attack right side your team will drop from here and they will play here the best spot that you can hold is here and keep them alive like this meanwhile being careful with whoever holds here now here's your options you're hitting like this if your team starts to fall apart it is better sometimes to go here and heal like this this is s tier spot this is the best place you can be as anna the single best place for defending point a um, here you have a lot of good vision as well, and it's generally safe. You can only get dive, uh, flanked from this position, and you can get dived from here if they jump on you. Your team has to peel for you and protect you. Your other healer should be helping you here as well. Keep in mind though that if you're here, and you're healing like this, the time it takes you to go from here to there is a very long time where they can't be healed so if you're gonna do that you have to be sure that they're safe at the time if you run out like this you're gonna get picked from here if someone's holding so if you really wanna wanna quickly go through here it's usually dangerous but you wanna peek here and then go but it's I would not recommend this this is how you die as Anna if you run from here to here and they're pushing there and this area is free if, if someone decides hey I'm gonna flank here oh Anna's here boom 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 dead Anna's dead and you don't heal them that's bad. You should always be the last one dying. 
You should never be one of the first few people that die, which is always bad. So generally speaking, you hold here, you drop down, you're going to be healing like this. Eventually, when your team puts a shield, or let's say Orisa should cool down, you have to pay attention to the cooldown and stuff. If Orisa now, she puts a shield, okay, she puts shield, her team are safe, the other healer is healing, I will quickly reposition and pay attention to critical health. I will reposition you quickly and start healing. Now, the best time to go from here to here is early on. So if you do drop, right, if you do drop from here to here, it is sometimes best to simply immediately start moving this way. Immediately start moving here and hold here. And then you heal like this. And they're playing right side, so you just heal them like this on the left side. It's the best thing you can do. You always have to watch out, they might decide later to, to go here. If they go here, being here would be dangerous, because now they're close. See, so you can't stay here forever. This is S tier spot, so you should always try to be here in this spot. Um, the reason you don't hold here when they're holding high ground is because if someone doesn't PQ, they're not going to get healed. So if you're low diamond and under, usually they don't always pay attention to what, where the healers are. You have to push to talk and talk to them and tell them that, hey, you know, make sure you, got, you peek me so I can heal you. And this is where I am. So you have to really be communicative. You have to always be talking to your team. Now you're probably wondering, what about this spot here? I will tell you why I don't generally recommend this. If you're standing here, you are revealed if Widow grapples up and snipes you, you're dead. If Farah flying over, she sees where you are, they will notify her she will notify her team and you're gonna have to hit her a few times. You can potentially even kill her. Um, it takes three shots to kill a Farah. If it's a Farah Mercy, it's gonna take more shots because you have to not miss, by the way, um, because in order to kill Farah, you have to not miss um, if she's being pocketed by a Mercy. Otherwise, she's just going to get healed. So, you have to be careful with Farah. It's good here to hit her a few times, but this spot is usually dangerous, but it can still work if they're holding high ground left side. You, would, you don't want to be here if they're here or here or they're pushing to point you don't want to be here at all it's, you're an easy pick for everyone here you're harder because they have to work extra for to see genji if he comes here he has to go up here and then he's a ha now i see you i know i'm calling for you see if you're up there you're just like telling the whole enemy team hey guys i'm here come for me and that's not always ideal so in summary top left if you're ho if your team's holding top left what if they're holding here? I would simply stay here. It's very simple. Stay here. Heal them like this. Right? And tell them to retreat left side if they want heals. Or just PQ for heals. Don't do this. Okay? Let's see. I'll, tell you, I'll give you an example. Someone's hiding here. He's critical health. Don't do this. Uh, ah, ah, ah. Okay. I'm going back. That is the worst thing you can do as Anna because the time it takes you to go like this, you're revealed here. You're revealed here. Fair mercy, they see you. And you're putting yourself in a bad position because you, it's not your job to go to people to heal them. It's their job to come to you for heals, to peek you for heals. This is very important with Anna, is that they need to come to you. You don't have to come to them, all right? Anna, the way Anna's support is played is very different than Moira and Mercy. Even with Moira and Mercy, they have to come to you. But Moira and Mercy, you are more safer because you have free escapes, right? You have your Fade, you have your Guardian Angel and stuff like that. With Anna, you have zero mobility. So it's essential that you talk to in voice chat and tell them what's going on. Because it's very important. You are, your, you are the team's eyes. They... They just have to PQ, they have to come to you for heals, all that stuff. So ideally, that's what you want to do. Now what about here, behind the stairs? It can, it can work, but if you get overwhelmed and they push right side, you're in a very bad retreat position. Your retreat position is literally all the way like this. And But from the time you run from here to here, your team might have died because you're not healing them at the time. 
And here you're always healing. You're always in if you get if you get dived, flanked, whatever, you're still holding here. You're, you're independent. You're not moving anywhere else. You're staying here. You're going to your team a bit to help you. You're getting rid of him. Okay, getting rid of him. Back to healing. That's it. It's so simple. You don't have to do all this retreating. And you might be thinking, oh, well, just retreat by going forward and then to the left. That's bad because the time you do that might get you killed. You see, the playstyle of Anna is very focused on not dying and mitigating the chances of you dying. Now, okay, maybe you gamble and you survive. Ah, I'm fine. I'll need you. Shut up, man. You're dumb. You don't know how Anna positioning works. Oh, uh, I made it. I was fine. But this will not happen every single time. You can't be lucky every time you jump here. Widow can be here. Anything can be here. Reinhardt can just charge you here. If you're going here, Reinhardt charges on this wall. You're dead. You can get hooked by Hog. Anything can happen. That's why I generally don't recommend stairs. If they're holding here. Up here is very cheesy. Because not many people check it for some reason. But you can actually like heal like this but if they're right side they can just go to you like this very easily and then you're in a bad retreat position because you have to run to their team i generally do not recommend this place on defense at all because if they push right side you're in a bad spot they usually say they don't notice you and you can get a big anti because they have no idea that you're holding there but if they do spot you then you're gonna die and the, your team can't just like go in and help with them holding this line here you know it's, it's very different so that's pretty much it for point A defense. So generally, holding here is the best spot. If they're holding top left, you hold there and then drop down eventually and go back here. If they're holding right side, hold here and heal like this. That's it. That's simple. Now, defending after they capture A. If they finish capturing A, one of the, the best things that you can do is try to maintain high ground or stay low ground behind in a safe position which is usually here um, if you play high ground you want to use this cover you want to be away from this as far as possible because it's the way people get to you so if you hold here you're a lot safer you can heal your team like this if their team's under you it is not ideal this is only like early stages of 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 this part of the payloads here or like a little bit back you can't be here anymore because your team's gonna start playing a bit more back so ideally you don't want to lose high ground control because if they take high ground in this area it's gonna be really bad for you as a team so you really want other people to try to take high ground or you take high ground for a bit but you can't stay here forever uh, ideally healing like this right healing like this is really good and make sure they pick you for heals Eventually, you're gonna you're gonna be here if your team's like here. You have to just generally play behind cover. Your biggest fear is high ground. If they take high ground, they win this so easily because they just drop on you. Uh, Doomfist, ah, uh, seismic slam, uppercut, dead. Punched across the wall, dead. You have to maintain high ground. So tell your team to maintain high ground in this area. And if they're smart, if the enemy team is smart, they will try to con take control of high ground. Um, I generally don't play here. I never play here. Bad spot on defense. This whole area, this whole area is not good uh, to hold. Generally, these are flank routes for attackers mainly. But yeah, generally, behind this, inside here for safety to heal them safely. Eventually, you're gonna move back, and you're gonna be healing from afar. You're gonna be careful from right side here when you're healing like this. You're gonna be careful from here because you can easily get picked here. Uh, there's no solution for this besides running like this onto this wall um, and healing like that. If they move to the left, tell them to if they're here behind this, tell them move main for heals. Peek here, heals like this. Careful with high ground. If they maintain high ground, you have absolutely no good place here. Um, I've tried testing like good places, but th if you hold here. They can see you right side shooting, but then you mitigate your vision, right? You need to see a lot more. If you put yourself here, you're revealed here. So you can't really be here. Um, 
the only good spot is just be in the back as, f as safe as possible healing if you see them high ground tell your team they're high ground and you have to start moving away from it uh, the best retreat way is back here instantly go back so if you're here and you're taking damage you quickly retreat back here if you get died by a Winston and you're here the best thing that you can do is tell, try to go to your team for help and tell them that you need help in the back line. Um, or try to sleep him and be safe. Uh, generally not the easiest um, place here for Anna on point after capturing A. Your spots are very limited and your biggest enemy is high ground. That's why on attack, I'll get to it, uh, on attack, this is so OP, like if you capture high ground and you maintain high ground, this whole area is yours because you see everything and it's such good control. So you want to be careful from high ground. Right, so they capture it, they get it, your next position will be obviously behind your team here and you want to be careful from this flank, you want to be careful from this flank. Left flank, you will want to be careful from it later. Now, what are the good spots here? Right? Some of the best spots here to hold when you're playing on point B is actually high ground behind this pillar. Because here, the flanker has to work extra effort to go up the stairs. So, the, like, they'll be here. They'll come and be like, oh, okay, there's no Anna. Okay, I'm going to attack someone else. And they don't know you're up there. But sometimes they'll know you're up there and they will work the extra effort to go upstairs and get to you. And even if they get to you and you're healing like this and they get to you, you can try to sleep them alone. Her, her, their team can't help the flanker because he's so deep and so far in. Um, you could try to sleep them and solo them. Uh, like Genji, you can solo him. Tracer, you can solo him. You can generally kill flankers except Reaper. Reaper is a bit hard to kill 1v1 um, because he's Reaper. He can literally melt you. Um, he can also... Wraith Thorm your sleep, Wraith Thorm your anti, cancel the anti out. Reaper is very good in flanking, so you want to be careful with that. If you do get uh, pushed on, just drop down to your team here. Your team will be holding here. You want to be there. Uh, you don't want to be there if the payload's like here or here. You don't want to be there because you're an easy dive. But generally a good place. I don't recommend this place if they have flankers, by the way. You'd be healing like this, but you're open here. And it's not ideal. You can easily get flanked like this. Very, very easy. I'll show you how easy it is. All they have to do is go through here. Left. Boom. You're like, easy and a kill. Really bad. You don't want to put yourself in positions like that. So, you want to be there. High ground. And eventually, you're going to be dropping down. And you're going to be playing behind cover. You're always going to be playing behind cover like this. You're going to move a bit to the left. Heal like this. Eventually, you're going to move like this and heal like that. When you're here, healing, you want to be careful from here. This is probably your biggest enemy. Uh, because they will see you here. And they will work extra effort to get to you. Now, if I was holding here, I can heal them. But my left is revealed. And they can see you from afar. So if they're standing here. And you're standing here, they can see you. And they're like, okay, I'm committing. I know where Anna is. But if you're holding here... He will be like, okay, I don't know where Anna is. I'm going to find her. It's different. You put them in a mentality where they have to find you now. You're not just giving away where you are very easily. You know? Like, here is really far and safe, yeah. But if they have a flanker, it's not going to work. And if you know, Widow. Widow can be here and you're dead. Ash. Headshot. Headshot. Dead. So, generally speaking, the best spots are usually here. I've tried going up here, but you only can see them a little bit when you climb on this rock thing. You can actually jump above it, but you're just revealed and it's not really ideal. Uh, but you can you can heal like from here a few hits only because then you have to jump and heal eventually. But I wouldn't stay here too long. You're going to be doing a few taps when I'm on payload. You want to watch out for right flank here. You want to watch out for this. So you're not going to be healing here for too long. Um, because you can get flanked from right side and you can get flanked from left side So your team has to try to peel for you or you take the 1v1 You're going to be healing, healing, eventually you're going to move like this Heal a few times here while you reposition and this is your primary spot Your primary spot will be here If your teammate moves a bit to the right, you're going to pull back a bit and heal like this 
And you're just gonna heal him and tell him to peek uh, main or go right side. If they go right side, you just move here and tap him and then continue back to main. Heal like that. Here you also have a good position if they're high ground flanking. So you tell your team they're high ground flanking. Or they come here and try to flank on these stairs. So you have position of that and you can hit them, scare them off. Um, another thing, you want to be careful with Farah here. Farah can easily fly over this and kill you. So, there is no great spot in this map for Anna. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. It's not one of Anna's best maps. But this is what you can do. Um, there's way worse maps. Like, um, the Greek map is way worse. Elois. I hope I said it right. Elois. Elois. I don't know. But that's one of the hard maps. This is, like, okay. But it's not as bad as the Greece map. Eventually, you're going to be healing like that. And when the payload is just about to touch, your only place really is back here. You play back here or you try to go for the touch when no one is going to touch. So really, that's pretty much it for defense. You just want to be a lot, uh, a lot more careful, uh, concealing yourself, staying hidden, and all that good stuff against uh, multiple flankers, multiple divers. Not an easy map. This high ground is really OP. We're going to explain now. If you are on attack, where the best spots are and what you can do on attack in the most optimal way possible. Now, if you're on attack, you generally want to go where your team is going. So you're going to be behind them here initially. Um, right side, left side, doesn't matter. You're going to be with them eventually. Healing. Eventually, you're going to be moving like this. Your option. If they're gonna go right side stairs, you're gonna follow them. Because if you leave them alone, they're dead. If Orissa is moving here, follow them. Even if you might think it's not a smart decision, you have to follow them. You go there, you heal them, you keep them alive, you try to tell them to regroup back to main, whatever it is. Um, generally not ideal. If they're holding high ground right side and we push right side, we can maybe force them off. But if they're, we're just going there randomly, it doesn't make too much sense as a tank. You should try to be behind this rock and try to put shield here and try to pressure, 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 pressure. And what you're going to be doing is healing like this. You're using this statue to cover your right side. Like that, see? And you'll be healing like this. You're healing your tank. You're healing, you're healing, you're healing. Eventually, you have to like be concealed from right side in case of flankers. And you're going to be looking around very often. So like, even if you look here, they have a tracer. I press tab. Oh shit, they have tracer. Okay, she might come for me. And they do. They do that a lot. They come from here to here. Or from here to here. If they do that, try to sleep them. Kill them. Stuff like that. You have to be... You can you can try to shut down a flanker very easily this way. Um, eventually, you're going to be pushing, pushing, pushing. And if you push left side, the common spot is behind boxes. Or... You go here, and you heal like that. Which is ideal, because there's a mini health pack right there. Um, this is what I would consider a good spot right here. Because you have concealment of the roof. Um, you want to be careful from this side if they see you here. But some of them, they don't care. They just want to touch. They just want to do that thing. But if it's a good tracer, if it's a good Genji, they will look for the healers. So you need to be careful with that if you are holding here. You generally want to go here if you're winning the fight. Because if you're winning the fight, your team can help you easier and you have the help of many. So what's the best spot here? The best possible place for you here is generally behind these boxes. Because you have cover from high ground, you have cover from main. The only cover you don't have is from left side. But this is good generally in a 6v6 situation. Um, in a non-winning situation but non-losing situation behind boxes is good and you hear them like this health pack is too far but it is an option if you get dived it's better to let your team help you instead because you're closer to them um, but here here would be the second most optimal spot there is no perfect place here honestly these spots are both really good um, see how much you have here. You can play behind this cover, by the way. You don't have to be in the open like this. You can actually remain concealed. By the way, there are stairs here. So if they flank here and to here, they can actually get behind you. So you need to be careful with that as well if you're holding here. That's why I mentioned the boxes. They have to work extra effort. And they, if they see you here, they will still get you. 
So that's why I say there's no perfect spot, you see? Like, there's always these positions where you're vulnerable. But you can't do anything about that. All you can do is position yourself in the best possible way. And here is generally good. Here is generally good. And here is also generally good. The thing is, they don't always check here. That's the thing. They don't always check here. So it's usually safe because they always try to kill the people on the point. But yeah. So you make do with what you want with that. Here or there. If your team is pushing right side, you follow them right and then you go here. And then you hit them like this. Right? This is when your team is right side and their team is left side or here. Um, usually they would be on left side if you push right because they're going to be playing on the left and some of them will try to get behind here to get your team here. You're going to be healing like this. Concealment. Field of view is good. Can heal like that. Can heal like that. Can heal like that. It's so perfect. You know, this is actually such an amazing place. Health pack right here. You heal like this very easily. See how easy it is? If they push up a bit, you can heal them like this. Be careful with here. Because they can get behind you. So generally, summary, heal from here if your team pushes right, heal from behind boxes if your team pushes left, or in here. You accurately judge based on situation. Usually behind boxes is good. It's good enough. You need to pick up from high ground, tell your team to pressure high ground, you want to hide, see the boxes, get good cover behind high ground. Be careful with ash, dynamite and stuff like that. You really need your team to pressure her here because you can't remain here for too long. So sometimes this option is always sometimes considered to be better. Um, again, it's a debate because here if you're against a flanker, it's a different situation. But yeah, generally those two spots, that spot and that spot. I never recommend here, never recommend being on the point here at all. Never be on point um, unless everyone's dead and you're safe and you can capture. Okay, here comes the best part. What do you do in this next part? It might seem confusing at first. Eventually, you're gonna there's gonna be like a little fight here or here. There's gonna be a fight. If you win that fight, try to tell your team to take high ground. Now, here's the thing, right? After you capture, it is sometimes good to take a few people with you to go through here, go through here, and then you can potentially catch someone here. And if you do catch them, you take the high ground. Boom. Now you have high ground control. Just like that. See how easy it was? See how easy it was to take high ground control? Now your team's gonna be pushing payload, and the few people here with you are gonna be holding the high ground. We're pushing payload, we control high ground, and it's so, so nice here to, to take control of this because the defenders don't have much options, right? Their options is to kill the people in high ground so they can maintain control they wouldn't go for the payload because then the people on high ground will fuck them you get me so holding high ground generally is a good idea it's generally considered to be a good idea here you can tell them when if you're standing here come come guys take high ground and then you all go high ground like this you can do that here or you can do with that strat, but not many people in solo queue are gonna do this. I mean, if you're in GM, yes. If you're in uh, mid diamond, low diamond, they will not always do that. So generally, it's good to just make the call out. Hey guys, let's go high ground. If they don't go high ground, whatever, it's fine. Just play with them low ground. Just do that. You made the call, you did your thing, that's it. So if you play low ground, where do you play? Behind your team, you're healing, eventually, you're gonna move like this and you're gonna heal from here because you have safety of medkit. You're gonna be healing like this, see how good cover it is. You heal like this. Punished, uh, if you get dived, punished, whatever, flanked, mega health pack. And then tell your team to help you. Try to waste the DPS this time as much as possible or take the 1v1 and fight them. But yeah, you're gonna be healing. You're gonna use this later on to keep pushing. You're gonna wanna be kept from high ground here. Um, I would not walk here because look, I can't heal them this whole time. But if you play main, you can continuously heal them. 
and then you play behind here and you heal them you heal them you heal them you want to be careful from here you want to get from doomfist high ground the high ground is your biggest enemy here eventually you're gonna move here and you're gonna play like this and eventually you will be capturing it but it's very important here that you maintain control of high ground this high ground is literally the most op thing ever if you control high ground you control this whole area very easily insanely easily so you should try to do that as much as you can uh, eventually you're gonna be pushing here and you just play behind your team here you watch out for left flank of course but you're just playing behind your team here the whole time you're playing behind your team eventually you're gonna go here and you're gonna heal them like this if they have people high ground forget staying here stay here heal them like that because you don't want to reveal yourself to high ground so you're gonna be healing like this and you're gonna be looking all the times, not, not only are you doing this, but you're going to be looking here. Now, here is the major, major thing. If you're playing here, you need to try to sleep any people that flank here. Hog. Hog loves to do this. What does Hog do? He goes here. Boom! You're Hog dead. You're Hog dead. So this is going to rely on you being instinctive. And you need to try to sleep the hog in this situation. Or after he hooks you, hold down crouch so he doesn't kill you. And then nade under you. If you hold crouch, he will miss some bullet pellets. That's why I mentioned he is good generally. Because you can stay away from this guy's field of vision. But if he sees your bullets, see the bullet tracer. If he sees that, he's going to go for you and try to hook you. But your team really needs to stop him. And you need to tell them to help you. Obviously, you're going to be careful here as well, flankers. But here is a scary spot, really. You need to push further enough. If you push further enough, you can take this place. Which will make life a lot easier. Because here you're safe. Um, also, when they come out from stairs, they don't, all, they don't see you because you're hiding like this, see? It's harder to see you. And you're going to be healing like that. And your team can help you. There's also a mega health pack here. And on the left here, generally, you can play here on the left using this cover. So, okay. Generally. Healing here. Or healing here. Eventually, you're gonna push. You're gonna be healing here for a little bit. Okay. You could even heal up, up until this point. Eventually, you're gonna be moving. And you're gonna be playing behind pillars. And you'll be healing like this. So, if you heal like this, you're open. But if you heal like this, you're not open. Only You're only open there. See? Here, your team should have control here. Before you even position here, your team should have control here. It's better to play like this in cover than like that. Because here, you will be more open. Here, you will be less open. Because you have cover like this. When you do this, you're also putting yourself here. Which makes life hard for people flanking here. Because they won't see you immediately. They will see you maybe a little bit behind the pillar. But they have to work for it. You get me? And you should always look there. So if you hear footsteps, whatever, you look there. Move, 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 move. Tell your team, help, help, help. There's a, there's a hog flanking me in the back, in the back, in the back, in the back. Right? And you're going to be healing like this. Eventually, you're going to be healing like this. Flankers are dead, let's say. You can heal a bit from here now. There's a mini right there. It's a really good spot when the payload's like around here. You can heal like this. Alright, you're healing, you're healing. Your problem is still flankers that go all the way from there to there. You can't do anything about that except try to take the 1v1 duel or try to sleep them. You will heal eventually like this. And then eventually you fight here. Um, and then you should win. Um, you can hold here when the payload's like this. So you can play just like this. You don't have to worry at that point. The only thing you have to worry is if they go right here and try to go behind you to kill you. But by then they all want to contest. They're all panicking, they want to contest, so they won't always focus you. Uh, generally here is good uh, when the payload's on this side. You can even take up high ground here just to get a better view, but then you can't really... Because you want to like get some good antis on this wall, and you can't do that when you're standing here. And you also have a good position of flankers here, so if you're holding like this, you can watch here as well and see what's going on. So, that's something to keep in mind. Um, if you're here, you can only see a little bit, but you can't see further. If you're holding here, you can see further. Like that. And you hear like this. 
So really that is about it for the position. The position guide video for Blizzard World. I hope this has helped out. I hope that this video generally is going to help uh, all people struggling with Blizzard World. I hope this um, video rises you into the highest elos imaginable uh, because I think positioning is one of the most important things for Anna. Specifically for Anna compared to other healers. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out our other Anna position guide videos for the other maps if you would like. It's down in the description below. I have a playlist for it. All the other maps. Um, more maps are coming, of course. We're doing all the maps for Anna. This one for Blizzard World at the moment. Next one, we'll see what we can do. Um, I'll pick one at random. Or if you guys want a certain map what you want me to do, uh, feel free to put it down in the comments below. Uh, make sure you follow us on twitch.tv slash alnina9. It'll be in the outro. And I'll see you later. Peace out.